Hey guys, it's Miss Kathy. I had some time off and I thought I would read a story to you all about fall and the season of autumn and a little fox. I hope you enjoy it. The Fox and the Falling Leaves by Julia Rawlingson, pictures by Tiffany Beak. The world was changing. Each morning when Fletcher bounded out of the den, everything seemed just a little bit different. The rich green of the forest was turning to a dusty gold, and the soft swishing sound of summer was fading to a crinkly whisper. Fletcher's favorite tree looked dull, dry, and brown. Fletcher was beginning to get worried. I think my tree is sick, said Fletcher. What's wrong with it? his mother asked. Its leaves are turning brown, said Fletcher. Don't worry, it's only autumn, she said. Fletcher ran back to his tree and patted the rough bark. Don't worry, it's only autumn, he said. You'll be feeling better soon. But the tree didn't get better. Each day more leaves turned brown. One morning, the wind blew a small brown leaf off a branch. Fletcher jumped up and caught it very gently in his paw. Don't worry, tree. I've got your leaf. I'll fix you. Fletcher looked around, picked a piece of grass, and carefully tied the leaf to a branch. Just then, another gust of wind ruffled Fletcher's fur. The little leaf shook itself free and fluttered back to the ground. Fletcher picked it up again and thought very hard. Then he poked the leaf onto a twig and pushed it down firmly. Now you'll hold on tight, said Fletcher. No more flying around. The little leaf gave a tiny rustle in reply. The next day a strong wind was blowing through the forest. Fletcher rushed out of the den and ran all the way to his tree. Lots of branches were bare and little lost leaves spun everywhere. Don't worry, tree. I'll catch them for you, I promise. Round and round and round whirled Fletcher after the swirling leaves. Leaves, wonderful, just what I need for my nest, said a squirrel. But these belong to the tree, said Fletcher. Don't take them away. The tree doesn't need them anymore, said the squirrel, bounding off. Help, help. The wind and the squirrel are stealing our leaves, cried Fletcher. Leaves, terrific, just what I need to keep warm, said a porcupine rolling around. But these belong to the tree, said Fletcher, plucking leaves from the porcupine's needles. Not anymore, snuffled the porcupine, and away he rolled. Help, help, the wind, the squirrel, and the porcupine are stealing our leaves, cried Fletcher. Suddenly a flock of friendly birds swooped down from the sky. They picked up the leaves in their beaks and poked them onto the tree's branches. Soon the tree was leafy again, and Fletcher flopped down and smiled. Thank you, birds, thank you, he gasped as the birds fluttered away. He lay looking up through the leaves at the sky and drifted off to sleep. But the wind continued to blow and the branches still danced. The leaves shivered and shook themselves and began to wiggle free. They tossed and turned and twitched and twirled and tumbled to the ground. They brushed Fletcher's ears and nose and filled his dreams with a whispering sound. When Fletcher finally woke up, he couldn't believe his eyes. Instead of a roof of dancing leaves, all he could see were bare branches against the sky. Oh, tree, I am so sorry, gulped Fletcher. All your leaves are gone. But then he saw, high in the branches, one small leaf still holding on. I won't let the wind steal that one, said Fletcher, and he began to climb. He crawled along to the last leaf and held it firmly onto its branch. All day long the wind blew and the branch bounced, and Fletcher held tight. I'll stay with you, leaf, he said. Don't worry. But then, with a sudden whoosh of wind, the branch bounced high. With a plip, 
The leaf let go and fluttered like a little flag clutched in Fletcher's paw. Fletcher looked sadly at the leaf he had promised to save. He carried it carefully down the tree and back to the den. He made a cozy little bed for it and gently tucked it in. But all night long he could only think of his tree all on its own. At dawn, Fletcher tiptoed outside. The wind had finally stopped blowing and the air was cold. The moon still hung in the clear sky and pale stars glimmered. As he came to his favorite tree, Fletcher saw a magical sight. The tree was hung with a thousand icicles shining silver in the early light. You are more beautiful than ever, whispered Fletcher. But are you all right? A tiny breeze shivered the branches making a sound like laughter, and in the light of the rising sun, the sparkling branches nodded. Fletcher gave his tree a hug. Then he went back to the den for a nice, warm breakfast. The End What a great story that was. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. Love ya. Go watch another story now.